Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Stonewalk. Last episode, look at this. We did all of this craziness and just to get some HDPE sheets. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well and having a good day. Uh, today, oh, with a little bit of lag, oof, we are going to be looking at uh, Britannia. Man, these things are so annoying. I just don't. Why are you even here? Come on. There we go. Um, we're going to be looking at Batania because we need we need some Batania. We need some Batania uh, to get things going. So I've got some petals uh, because we need those to begin with. Now, if you've never done Batania before, it's um, well, it's an in it's an interesting mod. It's a little bit different to a lot of mods. So one of the first things we will need is where are you? Where are you? There it is. The Petal Apothecary, like that. We need one of those, and that is how it's made. It's a very simple recipe. And we'll also need... Uh, well, actually, let's just leave it at that first. Have I got any seeds here? In here? I do. Excellent. We'll need those as well. And you can see I've got some other stuff on me. Uh, like that, like that. Let's put you there for now and let's put you there for now so the way this works is you need to fill it up with a bucket of water there you go like that and then can i can i not oh really is that like a little bit okay fine uh, then we need to put one two three four of those in and lastly one seed and you get a pure daisy now to basically do this again, you can see right click with an empty hand and it will repeat the last the last recipe with just the petals and then you can do that again. So we just need those two for now. So what you need these for is, let's do that there. There we go. You need to put these on dirt and then another one here. There we go. Bam, bam. And then we need, we need stone we've already got and we need wood. A bit of wood, bit of wood, bit of wood. There we go. Lovely stuff. So let's do it like this. Like that. And actually, we're going to need to do something about the floor in here. I've just realized. There we go. Bit of that. So this can stay here. That cannot, basically. Needs to be off like that. And maybe even... Maybe even this side. Have we got another Frenderman thing? Oh, they are so irritating. I can I keep hearing them. They're like the most useless mod to put in. Uh, and they often, it often gets put into packs, and I don't really understand why, if I'm honest. So, let's have a look. Have I got a wand? Uh, a builder's wand. Yes, I do. A diamond wand. So... Let's do it with this first, and you can see, there you go. What it does is it changes wood and stone into different materials. Now, the reason I uh, I didn't want to do it with stone is because, if we put that there, if I if I do that, yeah, look, it, it, go, it connects to everything else. So I need, that one needs to go as well. Is that it? Yes, excellent. And there we go, it does that as well. So let's just put dirt here for now whilst this changes. And you need these materials to further progress into Britannia. We're going to be doing a lot of Britannia today and uh, just to get to the Alfheim portal. So all of this will be doing that. I might need to make this room a little bit bigger. So uh, I want to I want to just show you this, at least this first bit of, um, of transformation. It doesn't take too long, but come on. Do do your thing, and that's just putting the materials underneath there. There you go, we've got living wood. But putting the materials under there like that just makes that easier to, you know, immediately place everything down. So get yourself a lot of this living wood and living rock, and then we can sort of progress with Batania. Right, we've got a lot of stuff now. There we go. And I set up this really over-elaborate little system to keep the Petal Apothecary filled. So basically, this doesn't accept 
any like fluid input like I can't just have a sink and then like fluid pipe and pump it into there that won't work you've either got to use a, like a mechanical user to with a bucket of water and like put it in there or you drop a bucket of water in there so what I've got is this open crate from Britannia which just basically doesn't have any inventory but whatever is piped into this it will just like drop like a dropper but you don't need any redstone signal and uh, so I've got two vacuum chests and then here I've got a fluid tank uh, and a sink and the sink is basically taking the water so this has always got water in and uh, right now I've got a water bucket and what basically happens is that if I <clears throat> well if I do that you should be able to see it gets dropped onto there and then it gets picked up by that vacuum chest I've got a an item filter in there and then it just gets piped back into this hopper uh, when the water when this hasn't got any water in what will happen is that uh, the water bucket the full water bucket will drop in there fill this up with water and then the empty bucket will get picked up by this vacuum chest it will get pulled into here this will fill it up and it will then end up in here so there we go that is just to keep that filled and uh, just a, a random bit of engineering very simple really but quite over complicated for what <laughs> what I need it for so now we've got uh, a little bit of stuff and uh, we actually need to make another one of these uh, open crates so you make that like that so first you have to convert the living wood into living wood planks and then you get an open crate uh, next we need a mana pool there we go and this is what it's all about all about the mana uh, and we need uh, well let's have a look actually let's do this we need a mana spreader and there we go and we need a wand of the forest wand uh, so any pretty much any permutation of this it should do uh, oh ah, I don't have any of these there we go one two three <laughs> there we go um, that that and then there you go two two bits of these any any petals will work there we go boom right there you go and you can see we've got some stuff now now i need to make this a little bit larger i think uh what we need what i'm gonna go for is <clears throat> uh an endo flame so what this does is basically you need to make one of these so it's the same sort of thing but we need a two browns a red and a light gray petal and if you're wondering where i got these flowers from which is a, v a very good question to ask uh there we go if you make floral fertilizer so a couple of different recipes but these are the easiest ones to get started and then just spam it on grass uh, so you can go to the mining dimension and do that that's what i did uh, grab yourself as many of the uh, of the flowers preferably all of them and then once you do that what you can do is if you get this little setup what you can do is make it into a white petal basically just by if we look at the recipe for that there you go take one of your flowers change it into a petal and you can start duplicating them put them on some dirt i don't actually even know if they need to be dirt bone meal them and then shear them and then you get there you go and then you get four more petals so you can keep doing that to uh, to make more of all of these so i'm going to make some ender flames and then we're going to set up uh, a way to generate mana, which is very much what we need to in order to to do anything in Britannia. So now we have a, another little setup. Okay, so I made I made uh, the Ender Flames, and this is that's there you go. That's how you do it. Same way as we made the Pure Daisies, and then I've got this little setup. So we've got the open crate hopper here with the roosting on top and then we've got a pressure plate under that and then three bits of redstone with a block there so we have to we have to a make sure that that is pointed towards our mana pool excellent and you can see you've got the little green thing there now and we need to sort of make sure that all of these if you put the mana spreader down first and then ender flames down it should basically work it should like all of these should say have like a green tick and that means that they they have, they're all centered on, well, focused on this mana spreader. So what is mana? Well, mana is basically, it is, it is like RF. It is the power, the energy that 
uh, Batani uses with which to do things. So uh, this will drop a bit of coal. There you go, like that. Lovely stuff. And that will burn. And what this setup does is that it basically only puts a little bit of coal there um, when... Because it can own, all of these things can only burn up one bit of coal. Any more than that, and it just doesn't get used. And you can see this is quite fast. And what this is doing is, if we look at the thing, you can see on the left, you can see a little, little bit of mana. Can you see? Cropping out, just like that. And that's what this is doing. It's spreading the mana to the mana pool, and this is how you store mana. Okay, so that is basically doing a thing uh, for that. Now, we should be able to spread this up a little bit more if we with the black lotus is that what it's called i think if we drop this into here we should see there you go you you get yourself a little bit of mana using that so that's a way a little bit of a shortcut basically there you go and um, we've got like a a quarter of it filled now which is rather nice man my frames are dropping quite hard maybe i'm guessing with all of that <laughs> happening so the thing that we're building up to, by the way, is the portal to Alfheim, and we we need that. And for that, we need uh, we need Terra Steel, uh, which is this. And for that, you need all of these runes, which is a bit of a pain. So we need a runic altar, uh, and we need a mana pearl or mana diamond, and all of that. So, using this mana, you we basically can make some some more some more uh, types of of Britannia things um, and you do that by just dropping them in so you can see I've got a little tick there which means it's got enough mana in uh, to in order to make that so I can basically do all of that and we've got 16 mana diamonds now and you can do the same um, with iron uh, and ender pearls they will do different things so that's sort of how you do that so basically I need to make a runic altar uh, which is not too hard to do uh, where, where are we runic altar do that quickly bam like that i'm gonna need another mana spreader because this in order to work also needs mana so i'm gonna take mana from that i'm gonna make another mana spreader uh ooh, and actually let's do it this way around there we go let's put it let's put that here there we go so I'm going to need to work on this and I'll sort of show you how to make this because, yeah, we need Terra Steel. Unless by whatever reason we've got some already. I don't think we do. No. Is there any other way? Oh, there is. There's the chicken's way, which is interesting. Prismarine and Ender Pearl. I don't think I've got a lot of these, so it would take a while. It's probably a good, like, worth doing because making Terra Steel is... An annoyance. It would actually be nice to not have to do any of that. Hmm. I'm tempted actually to do chickens now. End pearl diamond. See, I've already got. I think I've got a diamond chicken already. I haven't got a nether wart, but that's not too bad. Uh, so that. What's a prismarine chicken? Water and emerald. I don't think I have an emerald. Ah, but okay. So maybe I'm going to do that instead. Because basically, for, oh, hey, no, there we go. Um, all of the runes are quite irritating. If we look at the runes quickly, r uh, rune, there you go. They're all uh, quite a pain to make, if you see that. There's like a lot of different things that you need, a lot of different recipes. And it would be quite nice to just not have to bother with any of that. So, I'm yeah, I think I'm going to go chickens. Would you look at that? I finally got myself... An ender pearl chicken. Um, so now I think uh, one of the last things I need I was uh, very close now. Terra steel, uh, water, and okay. And I've got oh, where's my water? I got myself a water chicken. This has not taken that long to do. Uh, so I think this was totally the right call to make. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. And um, let's put you up here. Let's stop, stop that, stop that. You and you. There we go, and I've put the wand uh, here. It just makes everything of this go a little bit faster. I've already got the emerald one. I've got another diamond one. Um, so, we're so close. So, so close to getting. Let's do one of these together, just very quickly. Oh, it's... it. Well, yeah, it, it is... It's a little bit slow, but I think it's still quicker than doing all of the runes. Mainly because the runes are a lot of different recipes, and I sort of... They're a little bit of a faff. 
bit of a faff, whereas this is, uh, I think, simpler. And there's something quite... There's something quite... I don't know, like, magical about the chickens somehow. They're just, they're very Moorish in order to... Oh, there you go, we didn't get that. Have we got another one of you? No. Uh, very Moorish, I think. It's it, it's very... I don't know, I, I get addicted to doing chickens. So I'm going to... We're going to get ourselves, what is it, a prismarine crystal chicken. Then we're so close to getting a terra steel chicken. I finally got two 10, 10 terra steel chickens. Look at that loveliness. So I'm, uh, I'm just making, like, breeding more up to put in here. Uh, I also made myself a lexicon Britannia and we've got the Alfheim portal here. So I've already made a few of these things. Uh, the living wood we already made. Glimmering living wood, which is just, uh, that with glowstone. Nice and simple. Come on. Let's pop you out and make you start doing stuff. There we go. Thank you very much. Can we make this faster? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Excellent. Let's get some Terra Steel. I still think this was a, uh, a nicer way to go about getting some Terra Steel today. There we go. We've got some Terra Steel ingots. Lovely stuff. Right. We need, we need, we need the... Um, the gateway, something gateway, I think it is. Uh, let's have a look. Gateway, is it that? Northern Gateway Core, uh, so we can do that very easily. Bam, excellent. That is that bit. And then we also need, uh, hang on, pylon, pylon. So you need to make these first, two of these, and then make two of these as well. So one, two. There we go. And I think that's all we actually need. So literally just needed three bits of Terra Steel, which is not very much at all. Then let us go back. Let us go back. Is that? Oh, look at that. Um, let's maybe get a torch quickly, quickly torch. There we go. Let's just do that quickly. I should actually turn that off. Didn't actually mean for that to be on, but there we go. Just, uh, just, just in case. There we go. So we've got all of this here. And what we can do, what's the nice thing that we can do is do that. Uh, so you can sort of, there we go, do that basically uh, to to sort it all out and to keep it there. And then you can, you can basically fill in the things that you need. So the Elven Gateway goes there and these are all of that. That is that. Of course, I need to come up a little bit more like that. There we go. So that goes there, that goes there. Bam, bam. And then one, two, three. And oh, lastly, there we go. Right. So now, now I can't remember how these are meant to be put. Uh, ah, here it is. At least two natural uh, pylons with maniples directly below must be like a. I can't speak. Must be laid out in an 11 by 11 area around. Them. Uh, okay, so I can't remember exactly where to put these. So one of them, I don't know, does it go there? Like, is is that is that the way we do it? Um, let's actually make another mana pool as well because I can. And what I've done to um to move the mana is I've got these mana tablets, which is like portable mana basically. So uh, that there. That's, I believe, that. And then these guys go up here like that and like that. So what we can do now is one of the forests, so like this, you can see it says uh, it changes if you shift-click it. So tablet to pool is exactly what I want. Then we can just do that. There we go. And the same with this one. And I believe um, that these need to be... There you go. Uh, these need to be just over half full uh, to work. So just a little bit over half. Now we've got a fair bit more mana in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill these up until they're just over halfway point. And then basically all we need to do is is uh, use the Wonder of the Forest on the gateway core. And that should mean it is open. Pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much. So I just need a little bit more in each of these. So both of these, you can see, are three quarters full. So this should work. There we go. Lovely stuff. So the first thing what we can do is chuck that through, and then we get the better Lexica Britannia. And then second of all, 
the whole reason we need to do this, so I only got half of that there, that's fine, is basically uh, is doing that. There you go. Getting pixie dust. Lovely stuff. So, you can see, ah, that didn't take too much, but apparently it needs to be over halfway. That's what I read ages ago. I don't know if that is still true. Now, to keep the portal open, you, it doesn't actually take any power, you can see. I think it only uses power when you chuck stuff through it. So this is all nice and dandy. And that is Pixie Dust. So, for the old table, we're sort of almost there for the transmutation table. So I think next episode, uh, we'll make all of these condensers, dark matter, uh, quantum storage, that's not too bad. Uh, Ender Star, we need to get some Dragon's Breath and the Energy Collector. That will be a bit of a pain as well. But we're, I think I think next episode, we can do the transmutation table, which is pretty exciting. So thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying this. I'm still very much enjoying Stoneblock, actually. I wasn't sure to begin with, but uh, it's really kept my interest. So I'm I'm looking forward to you know actually finishing the pack because we're we're sort of getting we're getting there we're getting there. Uh, if you did enjoy it, like comment, do all of those things if you fancy it. Uh, I've been Hector. This has been Stoneblock, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.